The Cruise Angle ICMT app provides a number of handy software tools for foisters working in the field. Its Cruise Angle gauge function will let you select sample trees for timber cruising based on the specified BAF for point sampling. It will also calculate the basal area per acre for the occupied point. When Wi-Fi and location service is available, and GPS is turned on, this app will display a map that shows where you are. The function icons are displayed across the top of the map view. The map skill is displayed at the lower right corner of the map view. If you wish, you may turn off GPS while you are sampling a point. Tap the main menu icon to display the list of functions on the main menu. Use the setup function to tell your app what you normally use for the measurement units and the basal area factor, or BAF. If you select a metric distance unit, you are expected to use metric BAF values. If you select an English distance unit, you are expected to use English BAF values. You will also want to calibrate the camera on your device for use as an angle gauge. From the gauge setup screen, tap the Calibrate Gauge button. Hold the camera a known distance from a known horizontal measure, such as a ruler, at a convenient height, and enter the values in accordance with the displayed illustration. For example, D equals 16 feet, and W equals 2 feet. Please note that the distance should be measured from the ruler to the camera aperture at the back of your device. Drag the two movable guidelines to coincide with the ends of the horizontal ruler, and then tap on the green check mark to confirm the calibration. If you want to cancel the calibration then tap on the red cross symbol instead. A field of view value, or FOV angle, will be displayed. You may want to write this value down. Should you lose the calibration setting for some reason, such as a system crash or an iOS update, you could simply enter this FOV value and not have to calibrate your camera again. If you know the horizontal FOV angle for your device in portrait mode, you could also enter it directly. After tapping on the OK button, tap on the pull down arrow for the basal area factor field and pick the desired value. If you wish, you may tap in the BAF field and manually enter a value. The Calibrate Gauge screen also provides the functions to change the color and transparency of the displayed gauge. Select the color and transparency that provides the best contrast between the gauge and the various colors of the tree stems you are working with. The Utilities pull-down menu provides the cruise angle gauge and calculation tools. The limiting distance tool will help you decide if a borderline tree is in or out. The leaning tree tool will calculate the actual tree height of a tree that is not standing straight. The slope correction tool will convert slope distance to horizontal distance and vice versa. When you tap the cruise gauge icon, the angle gauge will be displayed on the screen. Hold your device over the cruise point, and walk around that point in a small circle, to sweep across the trees. Please note that the device, not you, is to be centered on the point. If a tree's image completely fills the gap of the angle gauge, it's an in tree. If it lies within the gap but does not fill it, then it is not a sample tree. For each in tree at the cruise point, Tap once on the unlock button then tap once on the plus button to add it to the tally. If you made a mistake and added an extra sample tree, you could tap on the unlock button and then tap the minus button to reduce the tally by one. The unlock button helps to prevent you from accidentally changing the tally by a random tap on the screen. The basal area per acre or basal area per hectare value will be computed for the currently occupied point. You can record the point ID, tally and basal area per acre values in your notebook for future reference. The Forester GPS GIS2 and Forester GS GIS3 apps also provide the cruise angle functionality.
In addition those apps will record the tally of the entries and the basal area per acre value for each point. For a borderline tree, tap the limiting distance icon and let the app help you determine if it should be counted as a sample tree. When you go to the next cruise point, tap on Unlock and then tap the Reset button to clear all values and start anew. When done tallying trees at a point, tap on the green check mark to exit to the main map view. Tap on the inverted arrowhead by the Measure Tools icon to show the tools for distance and area measurements. With a satellite map displayed, you can use the Measure Distance function to quickly check out the distance between taps on the screen. Or, you can tap around a region on the map to get its area. To measure the distance between two or more map locations, first select the Measure Distance tool, and then tap on the map locations. The total distance as well as the length and direction of the last segment added will be displayed. Whenever you need to place a node more precisely, tap on the node tool. A larger donut with crossers at its center will be displayed on the map. Touch on the purple area of this tool and drag the crossers to the desired location. Then tap once in the donut hole to drop the node. The Measure Distance tool will not retain the temporary shape you have delineated for computing the distance. When you no longer need the displayed information, tap the Back button to close this screen and discard the temporary shape. The Measure Area tool on the Utilities pull-down menu will compute the area enclosed within a boundary that you've formed by tapping on the map. Whenever you need to place a node precisely, tap on the node tool then use the crossers to zero in on the desired location. The measure area tool will not retain the temporary shape you have delineated for computing the area. When you no longer need the displayed information, tap the back button to close this screen and discard the temporary shape.